In part 10 of our SharePoint Basics uh, little video series, we'll be looking at list and library settings. So remember in a previous version, I think in part 4, we looked at site settings. So list and library settings is actually applicable to the specific application. You can access the settings by going through site contents and clicking on the ellipsis next to um, the app and go to settings. And of course, um, you can also go straight to the application and then go click on settings and go to library settings. So library settings and list settings uh, are a little bit different. I'm going to just open both of them and discuss both of these options with you. So uh, if I look at a document library settings and you'll remember in the previous uh, little um, video clip, I mentioned that at the end of the day, you have two types of apps. There's going to be a document library and there's going to be a list. A list is something where you can add an item before you even upload a document. A document library needs to start with content, whether it's a video or a photo or an image or a document. So in this document library, you'll see that there is uh, all these different types of list settings. So list name, description, navigation. It's going to be the same for list settings as well. So we'll just cover it once. This is where I can rename the app. This is where I can put a description in. So descriptions are always very important to me. So firstly, what is the purpose? So to share policies and procedures and uh, who's the owner? So you might have owners in the library, but who do they contact if something's gone wrong with this library? So um, who's the owner? Let's say, um, hmm. we'll just make a Tracy for now. This is also where you can set it up to show on the left navigation or not. So I'm going to say yes. Then versioning settings, of course, um, and we will cover that a bit later as well. This is where I'll set up the versioning settings. So firstly, you can say, do you require content approval or not? This content approval isn't what you'd think of as a workflow, but it changes the status of the document in the library and also allows for a certain group of people to be able to approve those documents. So a very, very cool little functionality to use. This is also when our versions are switched on where you choose um, whether it must have major or minor versions. So minor versions would go to 1.1, 1.2 first. And this is also the number of versions. Take note that there was a change in the last week. Um, something was announced about the number of versions in OneDrive and in SharePoint. So just have a look at that. Then also, if you use approvals on the library, who should see or who's allowed to see draft items? So any user or any users who can edit or any users who can approve. So that's also important and then check in, check out. We're definitely gonna cover that as well soon. Next up under advanced settings, you'll see that this is where you can manage content type. So if you wanna add another content type to the list or library, again, we'll discuss that more in detail um, going forward. This is where it gets the template from. So that's when you click new in the library, where does it get that template? Then also important is open in client app, open in browser or open in server default. If you want uh, the documents to open for the users in their own Excel or Word, you would choose the first one. Custom sent to location. So if you want to make copies or archive to libraries, this is where you would set that up. Do you allow folders in the library? So if there's metadata set up, you most probably won't. And uh, does this library's uh, items appear in search results? So um, that's also where you will set it up, whether you can use quick edit or not. So we'll definitely cover that as well soon. And then you'll see things like validation settings, custom, uh, custom uh, default value settings uh, for the columns, audience targeting, of course, you can set up as well, form settings, this is where you'll delete the document library. This is where you can set up permissions, we have spoken about that before, uh, manage files with no checked out version, and then enterprise data and metadata keywords and settings. Some of these we'll definitely come back to later. In the list settings, a lot of these uh, settings are the same. What I do want to show you in list settings and uh, I'll just go to advanced settings. This is important in lists. In lists, you can set up whether someone can see or edit other people's items. This, of course, is not possible in uh, document libraries. So this is definitely very important. Can users see other people's items? It's a very cool thing that lists does. 